right, guys. It is a beautiful cricket-filled night here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. <laughs> Wednesday night, September 18, 2024. And guys, I'm sorry, but am I the only person on this planet with the possible exceptions of Andy the Gardener, Gloria Nanati, and maybe Osama number five, who, who thinks this uh, the story about the exploding walkie-talkies uh, over there in Beirut is fucking hilarious. Come on, guys. The thing is, a lot of things, you know, when they, you know, when those pagers blew up yesterday, you know, I just about rushed in uh, with some tasteless Humpty Dumpty tribe uh, rant about how hilarious that was. I said, no, but, but, but even I hit the edit button on that uh, out, out of just basic respect for the, uh, for the dead clueless morons. But after it happened a second time with the fucking walkie talkies, okay, guys, cut the shit. You, you know, every late night comedian is, is, is in a meeting right now with their handlers. Every fucking late night comedian on this planet wants to be all over this story like stink on shit. And, 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 and you know, and, and before you uh, accuse me of being pro-Israel or some warmonger, it would be every bit as fucking funny if, if Hezbollah had done this to Mossad as the other way around. It makes no fucking difference uh, which side of the spy versus spy this is. It's fucking hilarious, guys. Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry. It's just fucking hilarious. Uh, that, that these clueless morons, after what happened yesterday, would pick up a fucking walkie-talkie uh, today. Uh, <coughs> I'm probably dating myself. Do you rem you, you remember? Uh, I mean, if you're a boomer, Mad Magazine, one of the funniest uh, magazines ever published in history. That that comic strip, Spy versus Spy. Uh, th this is exactly what it's sounding like. So I'm sitting here uh, reading these articles. So just for the hell of it. I went on, you know, on Yahoo News, of course, all over Yahoo News. This is from the Daily Beast. Now walkie-talkies are exploding after dastardly pager bombing plot. And, and, and they actually show a video of one of these walkie-talkies exploding in the middle of a funeral from these clueless morons uh, who blew up themselves and a couple of their children. Uh, yes, they're at a fucking funeral. You know, uh, mourning the loss of their fellow terrorists and their terrorist kids over an exploding pager, and they bring a fucking walkie-talkie to the fucking funeral. You know? And then the walkie-talkie blows up in the goddamn funeral. I mean, this is, good God. Uh, so, I decided just for the hell of it, uh, reading this, laugh out loud. Uh, and, and so I left a comment just assuming uh, Yahoo News was going to rip it down. I am sorry, but am I the only person on the planet thinking this story is hilarious kind of reminds me of spy versus spy in mad magazine uh yahoo news had no problem with it and uh so let's see if i'm the only person uh who is so uh just so completely callous uh to, to this latest bloodshed uh in, in the middle east here is tim the brilliance 
of not only intercepting their main communication system pagers and having a backup plan focusing on their second mode of choice is incredible. I salute the authors. Here is James, two tin cans and a very long string might be a safer way to communicate. 32 thumbs up. Uh, dastardly is not the adjective I would use in the headline. Effective, brilliant, unique, all much better. 23 thumbs up. Uh, here is, uh, I like this one from TGD. 15 thumbs up. The clever thing is, is it targets the Hezbollah members. Blah, 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 uh, so clever. Uh, in America, we should give all gang members pagers. Hallelujah. I, I, th I think every goddamn gang member uh, should get one of these pagers from Taiwan. Here is David, 33 thumbs up. Can you hear me now? Uh, <laughs> here is uh, just a comment, snidely whiplash. Yes. Uh, here is Edward. Man, this just keeps getting better and better. Can hardly wait to see what's next. Well, it's time for the spy versus spy. Uh, here is William. Sounds like a couple of Mission Impossible moments. Uh, here is, don't answer the phone. Don't look at your pager. Don't turn on your TV. Don't, don't, don't. Yes. All right. SP. Could that be Sancho Panza? Could Sancho Panza have beaten me to this? Nicely done, Israel. This is hilarious. Uh, here is Tom. You've got to give credit to the Israelis for making Hezbollah look like they, they are totally inept. And then here's Stephen. A whole day. They had to think, well, maybe something's wrong with our equipment. Some very bright people. <clears throat> Here is Steve. It's getting harder every day to be a terrorist. Poor things. Yes. Russell, so no pagers or handheld radios. So now they will have to have face-to-face -face meetings. And guess who will be waiting to blow those up? Uh, here is OHF. That's actually rather clever. Yep, yep, yep. Turning old school tech into personal WMDs. Uh, here is Rick. Sounds like something Hezbollah would do. Congrats to whoever had decided to fight fire with fire. Uh, dastardly? Nope, not in the least. Actually, quite clever. Yes. And Tango Down. Epic. Absolutely epic. <laughs> I, I mean, where is this story going to go from here, guys? You, you, you have to imagine what cell phone sales, uh, sales look like in, uh, in Beirut, Lebanon tonight. C could you imagine uh, living in Beirut, Lebanon right now and, and turning on your cell phone? Uh, I, I, I bet there are fewer cell phone users in the country of Lebanon right now than there are in South Sudan. Uh, but of course, what you're going to see 
and, and obviously what uh, what this is a sign of, all, all kidding aside, th this is the opening salvo, guys, that, that you know goddamn well that uh, especially with AI uh, joining in that uh, more and more of these people and of course, uh, I am always uh, leaning towards that nine-year-old Hindu boy and, and the mud hut uh, in Pakistan are, are, are going to start figuring this shit out. Uh, th th this is barely the beginning. And uh, when, when this shit, uh, you know, they, when they start figuring out how to do this shit, uh, with cell phones, you're, you're, you're going to see a bloodbath on this planet. Uh, you, you know, just imagine, just imagine uh, where, where this could go. The, the, this is the, uh, I need to be careful uh, about using, uh, 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 about using Doomer uh, cliches, but this is the fucking tip of the iceberg. We all know it. We all know it, guys, that, uh, th that in five years, this story right now, uh, do you remember when uh, whatever it was, nine or ten people uh, died in Beirut, Le Lebanon back in 2024? This, uh, you know, by the year 2030, uh, this is not even going to be a footnote in, in uh, the collapse of uh, everything history. Uh, th th this is the opening salvo. And uh, Andy the Gardener, uh, I, I'm, I'm getting uh, more and more uh, hopeful that, that your EMP uh, theory for the depopulation agenda it is going to come to fruition uh, faster than previously thought. Uh, anyway, guys, it is cra a crazy time to be on the planet. And uh, if you don't think this story is funny, okay, in a sick, twisted, doomer humor way, you're going to have a tough time navigating uh, the, the, the shit that's coming down the pike. Uh, every one of us uh, is going to be terrified uh, to turn on our fucking cell phones here in a couple of years. Uh <clears throat> I, I would absolutely love this uh, this this terrorist uh, paranoia to you know to bring down uh, the the fucking cell phone industry and uh, take this planet back to what uh, 1990. When, when did these fucking smartphones, I mean, when did the first one of these fucking things uh, ever get here? But anyway, the day is coming, and if you don't think it is, you're every bit as clueless as some clueless fucking moron in Beirut, Lebanon today, uh, turning on their walkie-talkies. Uh, because their fucking pager exploded. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you for the laugh, Mossad. Anyway, I still have people coming in tonight, and I have to find out where the hell they are. Bye, guys. Ugh.